Hey, this is Kat. Uh, if you're interested in blogging, but you don't want to pay any money, you don't know how to code, you don't want to worry about installing stuff or renting any server space, then WordPress.com is my favorite blogging platform. So I'm just going to take you through quickly how to set up a blog using WordPress.com. So first of all, obviously go to WordPress.com, not .org, .com, and click create website. All right, the first thing we need to do is pick a theme. Um, there are free themes and there are paid themes. So we'll start with a free theme. If you pick one and you end up deciding you don't like it, you can change it later. So just pick one to start with. <coughs> I might just go with pen scratch. So here you need to pick a domain name. So the domain name is the web address. Um, and to get one for free, you'll end up with the extension wordpress.com. So I might go catstam and it will see if that's free. So catstamblog.wordpress.com is free to use. If I don't like that, I can try something else, but I'm just going to roll with that one for now. Then we've got to pick a plan that is right for me. I'm going to go with the free option. And I need to create an account. So start by putting in your email address, choose a username and a password. At this point, just whiz on through to your email and click verify to verify your email address. After having verified your email address, you are redirected to your dashboard. So on the left, we have a menu which gives us some options. There are a few that you're going to want to play with. Um, view site, which we'll have a look at in a second what my site looks like at the moment. Stats, which can show me statistics about how many people are viewing my page and what country they're coming from and how they got there. Uh, plan, if you want to change that, I probably wouldn't play with that one. Um, blog post and pages are the two that you're going to be using the most. If you don't like the theme that you picked, you can go in and change it with uh, themes down here. You can look at the menus. Once you've got pages in your blog, that's where you'll want to have a look at menus. We've got some sharing options to link through to social media. Users, plugins, domains, you're probably not going to want to use. Um, and settings is the other one that you will use. We're going to start off by having a look at what our site looks like. So just go ahead and click on that one. Right now my blog looks pretty boring. It's got the name at the top there, Cat Stand Blog. It's got home, it's got about. I don't have any posts yet. Uh, and I've got a sidebar on the right with some widgets. It's got the standard widgets. If I click on the about page, it then has a little sample spiel for, you know, what the page could look like. Uh, it's also got the social media links there, room for a reply. So we know our site's ugly, it's about time we go and do something about it. So if you go back to your dashboard and let's go down to settings to start with. So on the site settings, we have a few different menus here. We've got general, writing, discussion, and analytics. Starting with general, uh, we're gonna change the site title because Cat Stand Blog is rubbish and tells me nothing about what the site is about. So I'm gonna say cats, blog about blogging with WordPress. Um, then I can give the site a tagline or a slogan if I want to. Um, don't feel you have to, but if you've got one, then feel free. I'm going to just say WordPress is fun. Then you've got the site address. If you want to change it by adding a custom one, this is where like if you've purchased a domain, you could use that there. It does cost you money to do so. So I'd probably just stick with the free one for now. You can change your site visibility, so allow it to be visible via search engines and so on. And you can have a look at the related posts if you want to hide related comment or show it. Um, just hit save there. And then go and have a look at writing. So every post has a category uh, and you can choose to use different categories. And uh, you can set that up as you go, as you uh, as you create your posts, um, but you can set a default one that you know if uh, if you create a new one that by default it goes under um, travel or under computer science or whatever, and you can change the default post format as well. Just have a look at discussion here. This is the one that I do tend to have a bit of a look at. 
So default article settings are about notifications. There's also some stuff about comments um, and whether or not you're notified or anything like that. Personally, the big one for me is making sure that I manually approve every comment that is posted to my blog because sometimes you get spammers and you get people that are trying to advertise through you and all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you just moderate those comments, it's probably a good idea. Have a bit of a read as to what settings you would like to set there and hit save when you are ready. Um, don't worry about Google Analytics at this stage. Okay, so now we're just going to have a real quick chat about posts and pages. So posts are the things that are going to pop up in reverse chronological order on that very front page of your blog and pages are the things that are a bit more static. Just start off by clicking on pages. I want you to click on about and I want you to um, write a little blurb about yourself. After that, in the next video, we are going to have a look at actually writing posts. To get back to your main dashboard, for a start, just hit my site. Stay tuned for the next video.